and slander is prohibited. Deaths will decrease relations less. Guided voting will decrease relations less. And emergency council sessions will decrease relations less. I don't think I need any of that right now. Population's growing so much, who cares about those 103 kids? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright, hold on a sec. Alright, what was that? Generator hyperdrive regulator. Where's the new thing? Oil yields more heat. For 40 cores! I ain't never even seen 40 cores. What? Wow, I thought that I could use that right away. I was wrong. Why is this not going? Oh, trail under construction. Okay, it is going. Aren't there a bunch of cores? There's a few different places that will give three or four cores, and they have negative consequences for me taking them. But even if I take all of those things right now, it ain't gonna be 40. Dispatcher. Constructed in a district and changes the heat demand. Or constructed in a district, increased squalor, but greatly uh, generate heat. An actuated heat dispatcher. Heat dispatch and control center where engineering teams use automated actuators to tune up district heating, boost generators output. Um, it costs $200 to research that. Again, preparing for the whiteout. A deep freeze. Veronica Petit, 73 caretaker, hauling buckets up the stairs. The elevator broke again. It's the newcomer kids. I'm sure little imps ride it up and down all day. Parents are no better. They push into the queues, buy up all the meat, get drunk and rowdy like wild animals. What do they contribute to the city? Who do they think they are acting like they own the place? You amended the allow productive outsider law to let in whole families regardless of qualifications. No, chat did that and I'm trying to pick up the pieces. Massive difference from what you said. All right, let's make... Uh... Work on making more housing. Still your fault. Fake news! Why did that stop making goods at some point? See, I was going to research heat dispatcher, actuated heat dispatcher. Negative 48. What? I misclicked something there. Goods here. Uh, is this out or just almost out? No, it's almost out. Okay. Okay, breaking to more stuff. Research waste repurposing. Oh, I forgot about that promise I made. Oh no! <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I totally forgot I made a promise. I'm gonna get in trouble. Jeremy, 
How do I give them money to buy them off? Let Frostlanders choose the next law to be voted on. All right. I'm I'm like, look, I'm going to you guys don't know why, but in 10 weeks you're going to be very disappointed in me. So I'm going to let you guys pick something for us to vote on. And they're like, "No, sir, you wouldn't possibly let us down." I'm like, "Trust me, I will." Something's happening. Uh, Hiram Townsend, 39, Trapper. Sparing a baby seal. Sorry, little one, I had to take your mother. It was her time, but you're too small for my pile now. Would be a shame to deprive you of your life for so little meat. Go on back in the water with you. One day we'll meet again. Oh my god. And I'll spare your children as I spared you today. I mean, I like how he's doing things, but it's weird saying it out loud. That means to the seals, that guy is the Grim Reaper. Right, here we go. Uh, all right, take that that district down. Uh, let's see. Build extraction. Get that. Expand this. Okay. Um, I could use those prefabs over there. We need more workforce. There's not enough workforce in this area unless I pause something. Attention, a new shipment of mail has just arrived. Frostlanders demands failed. I'm sorry! I forgot. I have a really good excuse. The excuse is I forgot. Alright, let's... How do I do this? Uh, turn down the efficiency of this. Alright, now I can do this. There goes that. Whoa! Ah! Dizzy. The gorge. Not enough teams. Uh, are they still building this thing? Uh... New building proposed by the new Londoners. Talk of a protest. The Pilgrims. Steward relations with the Pilgrims has become unbearably tense. They see your current efforts as utter folly and spit on the ground whenever you enter the council. If there wasn't a whiteout at our door, we would be out there with our fists held high, dragging the city to a halt until you finally start to see reason, they warn. We can ignore them for now, but we may consider placating them before their weather worsens. Um, Pilgrims warn that they will take action after the whiteout if you cannot keep their relations at least neutral. Uh, you have 40 weeks to fulfill your promise. Repeal machine attendance. Research city run alcohol shops. Bro, you want me to turn off the bots that do some of the work for us or let you guys get drunk? Okay, how do we send the pilgrims outside the city? It's 11% of the city dragging us down. Like, the other 89 are just, like, trying to put up with you. Hmm. City-run alcohol shops. People wanting to supplement their alcohol rations will be able to buy more from the city. This will generate extra income that benefits all. Heat stamps income per capita is significantly increased. Um. Alright, I'm, I'm torn between option two and option three. 
let them buy alcohol and then we take their money or ignore them. Seals abandon their pups at a young age anyway. Really? I didn't know that. Alright. Research city-run alcohol shops. I have never not researched the thing I said I was going to research. Uh, you can count on me. You can count on me. Hmm. Alright. We are researching brewskis. Wait, is this not doing anything? So, it takes 10 teams chilling here, and the reward is minus 10% teams needed? So, I'm giving, I'm giving, using half my teams to reduce teams needed to do team stuff by 10%. That's so stupid. And this one gives materials. Can I just connect it to the uh, the other place? Okay, that should be good. All right, let's check over here. Uh, let's do this. Do that for now. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna look at the oil. How am I losing oil every second at both locations, and yet we've got like 90,000 saved up? I don't know how that happened. be expanded? No. Can that be expanded? Yes. Can it reach this? Yes. Alright, that'll reach the infinite deposit. Alright, minus eight homes. We almost have enough homes for everyone. Right now, the biggest thing is this is causing crime. So... Can we build more industrial stuff? Let's prospect that. I wait the robot uprising. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is using up 10 dudes, but we are getting. Uh, 200 materials per week. So, yeah, we're gonna leave those dudes there. Those Please dudes live there now. The right they crave the mines. Teams in transit. All right, so this can now get the, what is the, the infinite digging thing. Need a core. Crap. Mm. Hmm. If we don't want to wait for them to come to collect the promised oil, we could send a stockpile from New London. Alternatively, we could force them out with guards. Uh, a surprise attack will send them running for the hills. <laughs> Five teams and 12 guard squads. Or send them the oil. 
Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to pretend you guys already voted on this because earlier we voted on this and you guys said send them away and build guard towers. So, send guards. Nomad surrender. Old Dreadnought. Steward, last night the nomads approached our oil colony in force. Unfortunately, our guards spotted them and sounded the alarm. They quickly saw they were outnumbered. We will never be content with what happened here, their leader said, but we cannot fight you. May you one day find yourselves in need, and may you meet a glory more generous people than we did. They left one by one, silently disappearing into the Frostland. It's kind of heavy words. We had enough guards standing ready. The nomads left without causing bloodshed or stealing oil. They returned to the Frostland, where they will soon face the incoming whiteout. The colony foreman doubts they will be back. Okay. Tension slightly increased. Okay, hold on. Can I see... Pause. Can I see tension somewhere? I don't... Do you guys see tension on my UI somewhere? Workforce population, heat stamps, prefabs, cores, hunger, disease, cold, squalor, crime. It's the ball on the bottom. Tension. Absent. Okay, nice. All right, in that case, let's dismantle this place, which will increase tension, but we get prefabs. All right, so I think we're actually going to need another guard tower. Um, that place doesn't have anything. Uh, housing, patrol tower. Okay. And I can build the deep drill thing here once I get another core. Um, okay, Pilgrim's demands have been met. Uh, don't tell them about the other Pilgrims we just chased off with axes. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, I'm very trustworthy, yes. Uh, what was it I researched for them? I don't even remember. Alcohol, that was it. They wanted alcohol. Okay. Um, cores. That's prefabs. Not possible due to blocked by storm. Oh, crap. Okay, so this must be the whiteout. So trade through those areas is like shut down right now, I guess? Huh. Well, uh, all right, so getting cores is not going to be possible for a while, I think. Okay. Coal stockpile is high, oil stockpile is high, food stockpile is insane, materials is not great. We need more houses again? Oh my god, can you guys calm down? I swear to god. This reminds me of Utah. Every family on the street had nine kids. I don't say that in any sort of negative way, chat. I say it in a just a that happened kind of way. Frost breaking. And oh wait, that's right. We we made this new industrial district. And it needs to make goods. Do they have TV in Utah? That seems like an I don't know what to do problem. No, it was it's Utah's predominantly it's mostly Mormon and uh, Mormons part of the their teachings is that they need to uh, replenish and multiply to fill the earth and there's a running joke even among Mormon families that they each individual family thinks that they're in it alone. 
<laughs> like, each family thinks that they have to do it, and it's their sole responsibility. And so it's like every family had like nine kids before like the, each mom would be like, no more. You got your soccer team. Stop. By your leave, supply run. Steward, the pilgrims have decided to send their strongest travelers out before the whiteout to search the surrounding area for supplies. With their parkas as their shield, they intend to walk the Frostland unscathed, united under one tent and guided by the Prophet's visions. They don't appear to be asking. Oh my god, yeah, dude, get out! Oh, dude, are you t kidding me? The 11% of my city that is causing all the problems are saying we're gonna go outside during the freaking uh, Hurricane Gen Jenna? Yeah, go. Yeah, good luck. Bye. Uh, you know, yeah. Oh my god. All right, chat. I'm torn. Do I give them food, or do I just let them leave? It's. I'm not stopping them. Small food. <laughs> Damn. We're gonna give him like lemnus bread. Might as well be nice about it. Well, no, because if I if I give them food, there's a chance they survive and come back. I don't want them to. I don't want them to. All right. All right. See ya. 124 pilgrims leave. How many of them are left? Oh, there's still 3,000. Oh, I thought all of them were gonna go. Crap. All right. Don't tell them I said anything, chat. Uh, let me see. Builds. Hmm. There's still not enough workforce here. Uh, what is this district? That's oil. That's the housing district. That's, uh... Fuel stockpile. That's oil. Alright. And what does it take to make the expansion? 205 more workforce. Alright, I guess just turn this back up then. City-run alcohol shops rejected by the delegates. What? Hold on, why? What's going on with this? Okay, there we go. I think it's because that pop-up happened while I was messing with this. It, like, messed everything up. What difficulty is this? Uh, the basic one. Which is challenging enough with Switch voting against me on everything. <sighs> okay. Whiteout ending stalwarts rallies. The storm forces them to go home. Nothing like being friggin' terrible weather to force all the people that are being rowdy to just get inside. Survive the whiteout. I wonder how long the whiteout's going to be. The heat seems to be fine. I don't even have to, like, overdrive the generator right now. Minus 500 oil. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yikes. Um, you know what? Hang on a second. What 
do I turn that off? Is that... Oh, that's not even doing anything right now. I don't even, I don't even see any of these switches changing anything. This will last 10 weeks. How long is the whiteout going to last, though? Do we know? Minus 284 food? Hang on a second. All right, I'm, I'm transferring hella resources from the other base to this one. All right, that'll buy us some time. Okay, <laughs> there was one dude living outside. I just made him a house. He was out there just ah, ah, ah. Uh, Let's see Warm-up looks like three weeks. How do you tell? I can see it's minus 100. I don't know how to read this bar right here. Temperature. To be ready for temperature changes, keep an eye on the weather timeline in the top right of your screen. Thermometer icons represent temperature changes. When temperature drops, heat demand increases in districts that demand heat. When it rises, heat demand decreases. Ensure you have enough fuel stockpile to be ready for temperature changes. You may construct fuel stockpile hubs to expand stockpile capacity for coal or oil. Otherwise, the cold may increase disease and eventually lead to deaths among citizens. Besides temperatures, be aware of whiteouts. Those are weather anomalies that introduce severe and punishing conditions. They are represented by wind icons on the timeline. Okay. So, like, how how much time is that? Those left behind, the whiteout. Uh, steward, over the howling winds of the whiteout, the pilgrims have accused the stalwarts of indoctrinating pilgrim children into their youth program. Since the other pilgrims left, kids begin leaving for the stalwarts in droves. Pilgrims assert that the stalwarts are trying to swear the children into their ranks before their pilgrim mentors return. But the stalwarts maintain these children had been abandoned, left adrift with no role models to guide them. I lost my daughter last winter, when stalwart says. When I spoke with Abigail, it was like talking to my little girl again. What should we do? Ah. Uh... I mean, chat, their parents went out in the snow and just left them here. I think they're better off with the Star Wars. <laughs> like, yay, hell, free parents. Yo, you know, new parents are on sale right now. <sighs> Send them to the mines. <laughs> Yeah, there was no ill intent. That's fine. Um, yeah, I am freaking concerned right now.
This minus 500 oil a day is pretty insane. 